In this video, I'm going to take you through how to run correlations and scatter plots. So this lab comes from the Open Stats Lab, and it comes from an article titled, Do Outbreaks of Infectious Disease Influence Voting Behavior? So we're going to use actual data from, from the study, and it's important to read through this description so that you understand the variables. You're going to have to write this up, so you need to understand what the study is about. In short, they're looking to see is what in, what could in, what could potentially influence voting behavior, um, whether to support a more conservative or liberal candidate. And one thing they're looking at is the outbreaks of an infectious disease and the influence of that outbreak on voting behavior. And so here you see in this last sentence, the authors hypothesize that an outbreak of a disease such as Ebola may increase support for more conservative political candidates. So to test this, they're going to look at the frequency of Google searches for Ebola in the weeks prior to and after an outbreak that occurred in 2014, and then support for two major political parties collected by polls um, at that same time. So we're going to be looking at um, Google searches for Ebola and voter intention index. So the first thing you want to do is make sure you have SPSS opened up. So here I've opened up my SPSS. And then you want to go back to the Canvas page and you want to open up the data set. Now, sometimes, um, especially for Mac users, you may need to download the file, open up SPSS, and then open up the data file. Um, in most cases, though, you open up SPSS first because it's a big program and you want it to be open and running, then open up the program. Um, but again, in some cases, you may need to download the program to the AWS, because that's most likely what you're working at, or the computer that you're on if you're, you have SPSS directly on your computer. Um, I know that in the past that has been an issue for Mac users. So open up the data set and just kind of look through it and see, okay, so here we have the month. So nine being September, 10 being October, 11 being November. Um, we have the date of the month. We have two weeks prior to the output. Um, here's really what we're more interested in. We're, we're going to look at daily Ebola search volume index later on. Uh, we're going to look at Ebola, Ebola search volume index overall. And then we're going to be interested in this voter intention index as well. All right, so let's go back here and ask what the lab asks us to do first. So it says run a correlational test to see if there's an association between Ebola search volume index and voter intention index. So again, note that there are different variables that are named similarly. You are going to be graded on not only doing the correlation itself, but having the correct variable. So it's very important to select them carefully. We want Ebola search volume index and voter intention index. So I'm going to go back here to my data set and I am going to go to Analyze. I'm going to go to Correlate. I'm going to go to Bivariate. And then I'm going to find, so this is daily. If you look here, if we, I hover over it, see how over to the right it says daily Ebola search volume index? That is not the one that we want. We want mean Google searches and see how it says Ebola search volume index there at the far right. If I hover over this to the far right, it says Ebola search volume index. That's the one that I want. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to push that over there. And then this one here, percentage of voters who intended to vote for a Democratic candidate. And you see at the far right, it says voter intention index. If I try to go over there, it doesn't let me. So if you look all the way to the right, you see where it says voter intention index. That's the one that I want. I click that over there. I'm going to go into options. Let's just get the means and standard deviations. Um, we probably won't use those, but let's just get those in case. Pearson is already checked. It's two-tailed, um, flag significant cor correlations, and then we're going to click OK. So here it's going to give me my means and my um, standard deviations for those variables of interest. And down here it gives me my correlation. So here it's showing me my mean Google searches um, compared to my voter index. So this is my uh,
Ebola search volume index, and voter intention index. And here my correlation is 0.505. My, it is significant, so that means that if I was to run this again, the probability that it would occur by chance is less than 5%, um, and then this gives me my n for the two different variables. And you see here is just showing you the same thing. This is how correlation tables are popped out.